Billie Eilish declares she's never talking about her sexuality or dating life ever again after backlash. Billie Eilish declared that she would not share details about her personal life ever again. The 22-year-old singer faced backlash over candid comments that she made about sex earlier this year. In a cover story interview for Vogue's November issue, Eilish asserted that she would not be as forthcoming in the future. I wish no one knew anything about my sexuality or anything about my dating life. Ever, 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 the nine-time Grammy Award winner said. And I hope that they never will again. And I'm never talking about my sexuality ever again, she continued. And I'm never talking about who I'm dating ever again. Eilish made headlines and sparked controversy when she opened up about sex and revealed intimate details about her experiences during an April interview with Rolling Stone. I basically talk about sex anytime I possibly can, she said then. That's literally my favorite topic. My experience as a woman has been that it's seen in such a weird way, Eilish continued. People are so uncomfortable talking about it and weirded out when women are comfortable in their sexuality and communicative in it. The happier than ever, Singer told the outlet that self-pleasure is an enormous, enormous part of my life, as well as a huge, huge help for me, due to extreme body issues and dysmorphia that I've had my entire life. Eilish also candidly discussed exploring her sexuality and discovering her attraction to women, which she said inspired a song on her latest hit album, Hit Me Hard and Soft. While speaking with Vogue, Eilish explained that she did not realize her remarks would garner such widespread media attention. I guess I also underestimate that things I say will be blown up into the biggest news of the whole world, she said. That's so unnatural, Eilish added. We're all babies. We're all little kids growing up and learning ourselves. Eilish will kick off her Hit Me Hard and Soft tour Friday night at the TD Garden in Boston. The tour marks the first time the singer is hitting the road without her brother and collaborator Phineas O'Connell playing guitar alongside her or her parents accompanying her. O'Connell, 27, will join his younger sister on stage at a few of her tour stops, but he told Vogue that he believes that Eilish is ready to set out on her own. There were many years where I sort of felt like I would never miss a show because, you know, Billy was 16 or 17, and I really had this feeling of needing to be there for every minute, he said. And the truth is, over the last few years of touring, she's really become an adult. She has a really disciplined way of existing on tour, Phineas added. She sleeps through the day to make sure that she's rested for the show. She does hours of physical therapy. She does hours of vocal warm-ups. Eilish began performing with the Los Angeles Children's Chorus at the age of eight and started writing music when she was 11. The pop star was 13 when she skyrocketed to fame after releasing her viral hit, Ocean Eyes, which was written and produced by Phineas. Since then, Eilish has released three studio albums and embarked on seven concerters. While speaking with Vogue, Eilish shared that she had suffered physical injuries over the years while performing. I've basically been in pain since I was nine, she said. Growing up, I'd always hear people be like, just wait until you're older. You're going to have so much pain. And I remember being so furious. I got famous at 13 and suddenly had to live a really weird life, and I never went to school, she said. The Birds of a Feather hitmaker also recalled that life on the road has been challenging at times. I've had some really dark times on tour, she shared. For a long time, I was kind of living like it was temporary. Like, yeah, I'm touring for now, and it's kind of unpleasant, and whatever. It'll be over. And the truth is, it's the rest of my life, she added. Elish told Vogue that she now has a more optimistic outlook on touring. I didn't realize that I could make touring enjoyable, she said. I just was very lonely for many years, and I'm not interested in that anymore. I want to enjoy the show as well as my days.